Popsicle. They're having a popsicle this afternoon and it's making me feel like spring and summer is on the way. Yay! Let's go. Welcome back everybody. I'm putting some chicken in the Instant Pot. We're gonna be making chicken pot pies for supper tonight. It's been several months since I made chicken pot pies. So we're gonna have those for supper tonight and I'm gonna make a coconut cream pie. First though, I gotta get this chicken in the Instant Pot for the chicken pot pies. Then we'll go ahead and make the coconut pie. I already put the pie crust in the oven for the coconut cream pie. I'm looking for my, oh, there it is. I feel like it's been go, go, go ever since school started back from Christmas break. Go, go, go. It's like several times a week I have different errands to run. I guess it's just a busy time of year. I don't know. It's been busy. And then we had the snow days and that was all exciting. And it just feels like right now it's finally calming down a little bit. We're getting back into the routines. No more snow, I don't think. So I have my rack in the Instant Pot and I'm just gonna go ahead and cube this chicken up a little bit. That way it'll be faster for me to shred it when it gets done. I'm just gonna cook it in the Instant Pot and then shred it up for the pot pies. Oh, I got my Bath and Body Works order in the other day that I told y'all about their semi-annual sale order that I did. The candle that I got was sugared pecan pie. I had that one back around Thanksgiving and it smelled so good and I got it on sale during the semi-annual sale for $6, a little over $6. What did I set a timer for? Oh yeah, the pie crust. So I got that and I thought I had ordered five of the wallflowers, but I did. I think I did try to order five and two of the ones I ordered, it said wasn't in stock when I added them to the cart. So I got three. Um, Perfect Christmas, I think, is one. Frosted Cranberry and some kind of pumpkin one. But they were only $1.87, so. Okay, I've almost got all this chicken in here. So, I put a cup of water in there. And we're gonna cook on high pressure for eight minutes. I think Jake's home. He went to town to wash his truck this afternoon. I used to do the same thing when I got my first car. It was like, I was keeping that thing spotless. I need to be doing that to this van. It gets harder when a lot of people ride in your car. Do it nice and clean. While the chicken's cooking, we'll get the coconut cream pie going. I have to tighten up my little pot handle here. The pie crust has about five more minutes. I'm just gonna put some of these coconut flakes in there with the pie crust, not in the pie crust, but you know, on the pan, because they need to toast a little bit. So I'm just gonna put some on there real quick. About half a cup on each side. Spread them out. Don't try this at home. Be very careful because you know, it's hot in here and everything. This is only for professional coconut spreaders. <laughs> The safe thing to do would be to take the pan out. Cece's putting in three cups of half and half in this pot, and then I'm gonna turn it on low. Now, we need two eggs, Cece. Okay. Cece's gonna be getting our eggs whisked up over there. I thought somebody was knocking on the door. It's just mainly knocking on it over there from the inside. He's trying to get Jake's attention. He's out there cleaning his windshield now. I'm putting in three fourths of a cup of sugar, and I have this on low heat now. Next, we need half a cup of all-purpose flour. She's pouring in the eggs. A quarter teaspoon of salt. You wanna get that? Yeah. Just drop it in. Good job. Okay, so we've just got this on, it's kinda in between low and medium heat. And we're just gonna keep stirring it until it comes to a boil. Then we'll remove it from the heat, put in a teaspoon of vanilla, and almost all of our toasted coconut. We're gonna save a little bit to put on top at the end. But we won't do that until later because it's gonna go in the refrigerator for about four hours. That's why I wanted to go ahead and get this made first so we can get it in the refrigerator. Okay, y'all, approximately 50 years later, we are about to come to a boil. It's starting to get thick. You do have to stay right here with this, y'all. I'm telling you, if you decide to make this pie. Okay, we've got some bubble action. We're gonna remove it from the heat. We're gonna put in almost all of our toasted coconut. Just gonna save a little bit for the top later on. Oh, we gotta put in our vanilla. One teaspoon.
Okay, y'all, I still got some chicken to shred, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these vegetables in the pan. You need more cat cat? Okay. Mr. Man found out I had chicken over here. There you go. We need onion, we need garlic, we need celery, and carrots. Now, I'm making two of these chicken pot pies, so I'm using a lot more vegetables than the original recipe called for, but I'll have the original down below for y'all. Oh, more cat cat. More cat cat? Oh my goodness. Cool down. Yeah, it's cooled down. There you go. I better hurry and get these made or we're gonna have veggie pot pies instead of chicken. I'm just getting some butter melting in the pan over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing in the carrots first since they're the, you know, ones that take the longest to get tender. And I'm just cutting them in half. More you want more cat cat? Okay, here you go. Enjoy! Oh, I dropped the carrot. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to start putting in the other stuff. Now, like I said, I'm making two of these instead of one, so I'm gonna be putting a little more than you'll need if you only wanna make one. A little bit more butter in here. And some salt and pepper. And I'm using ground thyme, but you can use fresh. And we're gonna put in some parsley flakes. Okay, we've got the vegetables coated good with the flour and seasonings. Now we're going in with some chicken broth. chicken broth in there. Now we're going to put in some heavy cream and then we're just going to let this simmer while I finish shredding up this chicken. You got those for me? Thank you. You okay? Yeah, I got it. Thank you. You okay? Yep, I got Oh, I don't got it. <laughs> I got it. I'm adding the shredded chicken to the pan and I might have a bit too much chicken. That's okay, we know someone who will eat it. <laughs> Let's see, I'll get this stirred in and we're gonna put in a bag of frozen sweet peas. It's gotten pretty thick, so I might add a little bit more chicken broth. This is also really good with rotisserie chickens and then you don't even have to cook the chicken. You just shred it. Got some stuck together there. Y'all better separate yourselves. Now, we're gonna get the crust in the pie plates. I'm gonna tell you something, baby. That's looking really good. That's homemade chicken pot pie going there. No, it's not homemade crust. I'm sorry, I'll try to do that next time. Let's pretend like it's homemade. We can pretend. I sprayed my pie plates just a little bit. All right, y'all, so chicken pot pies are almost done. I'm gonna make some cream corn to go with them. So for the cream corn, I've showed y'all this cream corn recipe a bunch of times. It is so good. You melt some butter. Normally I make it in a pot, but I think I have enough room in this skillet, so I'm gonna go with that. So I just put a little flour in there. The butter's almost melted, so I'll put a little flour in, and we're gonna put in some milk. All right, pot pies are ready. You wanna see? Pot pies, there they are, they're hot. Yeah. yeah, they gotta cool down.
there we go y'all chicken pot pie it doesn't cut the prettiest but I promise it tastes good <laughs> All right, y'all, we are finished eating. We have a whole chicken pot pie left and some corn. So I'm gonna put the corn in a container and I'm just gonna cover this once it cools down all the way. It's still a little bit warm. Once it cools down, I'll just cover it, put it in the refrigerator, and we'll have that for lunch tomorrow. You yeah. see it? Hey, cover! <laughs> the boys are out here flying a drone. Hey, cover! There it goes, Minnie. Hey, cover! Are they flying a helicopter? That's a drone. There it goes. Hey, hey cover! Oh! It fell down. It fell down. Yeah. It fell down. Here it goes. It's going to get you. Oh, Donald's bringing a snack out here to watch. What you got, Jonah? Some chips? Mm -hmm. He's got some Doritos out here. We're bringing out snacks and everything for this event. Mm -hmm. <laughs>